warm greetings from tnv academy today in this session we will talk about iso and iec tr 27008 which is guidelines for assessment of information security controls however before we begin let's take a quick look at the key takeaways of this session at the end of this session you will be able to understand what is iso 27008 and how does it work purpose and scope of iso 27008 and who should implement iso 27008 so let's begin our discussion and talk what is iso and iec 27008 is all about iso 27008 is a technical document that outlines procedures for conducting an audit of an organization's information security controls iso 27008 plays a major role in the management activities associated with the implementation and operation of an information security management system ISMS even though it is meant to be used in conjunction with ISO 27001 and ISO 27002 it is not exclusive to those standards and is applicable to any scenario requiring an assessment of information security controls ISO 27008 is essential to organizations of all forms and sizes including public and private businesses federal agencies and not for profit organizations that perform information management reviews and operational compliance test ISO 27008 proposes a comprehensive organizational security assessment and review framework for information security controls in order to give organizations confidence that their control have been implemented and managed correctly and that their information security is fit for purpose it helps to instill trust in an organization's information security management system controls information security is a subject that more important than ever before news reports of data breaches and cyber attacks now come thick and fast but what is the bigger picture information security sometimes shortened to infosec is the practice of protecting information from unauthorized access use disclosure disruption modification personal inspection recording or destruction Information security concerns the protection of information in any form when it is held or processed by an organization. How does ISO 27008 work? ISO 27008 defines general procedures, not techniques for any particular controls or forms of controls. It defines systematic reviews and then outlines the various approaches and forms of reviews that are applicable to information security controls. Finally, it discusses the practices required for a successful review process. So, we will now discuss about the purpose of ISO 27008. ISO 27008 was credited to the first one is assist in the preparation and implementation of ISMS audits and the method of information risk management the second one is provide guidelines for auditing information security controls in accordance with ISO and IC 27002 controls guidance the third one is enhances ISMS audits by optimizing the relationships between ISMS processes and necessary controls The fourth one is assures the audit resources are used effectively and efficiently. The fifth one is add value and improve the consistency and benefits of the ISO 27K specifications by bridging the difference between updating the ISMS in principle and where necessary checking proof of applied ISMS controls for example evaluating security elements of business operations IT structures and operating environments in ISO 27K user organizations what is the scope of ISO 27008 ISO 27008 provides guidance to all auditors on information security management system controls it guides the information risk management process as well as internal external and third party assessment of an ISMS by demonstrating the association between the ISMS 
and its accompanying controls. It includes guidelines on how to test the extent to which necessary information security management system controls are applied. Additionally, it assists organizations that are implementing ISO and IC 27001 or ISO and IC 27002 in meeting a compliance criteria and serving as a technical platform for information technology governance. We will now move forward and discuss who should implement ISO 27008. ISO 27008 is intended for internal and external auditors charged with the responsibility of reviewing information management controls that are part of an ISMS. It would however be beneficial to anyone doing an analysis or assessment of an ISMS controls whether as part of a structured audit procedure or otherwise. The document is primarily intent for information security auditors who are responsible for verifying that an organization's information security controls are technically compliant with ISO and IC 27002 and all other control requirements used by the organization. ISO 27008 will assist them in the following ways. Recognize and comprehend the scope of possible issues and weaknesses in information security controls. Identify and comprehend the possible consequences of inadequately mitigated computer technology risk and weaknesses for the company. Prioritize risk control practices related to information management. Ascertain that previously found or newly discovered vulnerabilities or defects have been resolved sufficiently. ISO 27008 is applicable to a broad range of organizations included public and private businesses, government agencies and not-for-profit organizations. So we have now come to the conclusion of this session in case you have any questions regarding what we have discussed today. So please put them in the comment section of the video and we will be really happy answering them. Till we meet next, it's best wishes from TNV Academy. Thank you.